Maria, Maria. All right, we sound good. Buckle up, boys. So, society's moving backwards, part two. Okay, the decline, you know, from goods and services to the way we dress. Just things are getting, well, more and more <laughs> shit. Anyways, here's Joey B. Tunes. We're gonna, this is, this, we're gonna have a lot of fun here. Okay, let's get deep. Let's have some fun. I feel like there was a bit of pride to be a human being at one point. Even if they didn't have a lot of money, they still made an attempt to wear their best clothes when they went out in public. Now people just wear anything, do anything now. They wear their pajamas in the grocery store. Nobody cares. But but the thing is, is like if the places you go to don't care, then that's really not far off. I was at Ross recently. That's pretty accurate. That's a Ross for sure. I had to get my dad's slippers. And why should anyone care? I mean, even the trains back then people took and you look inside and there's areas with couches and record players, like a cigar lounge, it's like little beds. And it, you know, it's like they, they make it look nice. And then people wonder why they dressed up back then. Modern architect. Cigar lounge on the train, just chilling with the boys. Could you imagine? Anyways, we're going to dive into the trains, but uh, this is, just pay attention. It's going to be fun. Texture is ass. Do you know how I know this? When you look at a building that was made five years ago, that was made 10 years ago, that was made 15 years ago, you say, people made that. One of the worst downgrades in human history has to be architecture. Bro, like, how do we fall off so bad? We had castles in random places, and now all we got is, like, these office boxes. Buildings had random trap doors that led to these grand staircases. When was the last time you saw a gargoyle on a building? We need more books. <laughs> For real, though, I, I do see those little owls, but that's, you know, I, I don't recall seeing gargoyles, but... So that turns into a secret room. I want to feel like I'm walking into somebody's lair. You know how hard it would be to spot a supervillain these days? All of them probably live in an apartment building. I would never leave my house if it looked like this. Yo, look at that structure real quick. Yeah. This. If you walk into a classical building, like, for example, Grand Central Station, you walk into Grand Central Station, the main terminal, you look up and you go... People made this? That's the difference. That's the difference. There is no awe anymore. That's true. Not even just with buildings. I, I wanted to look up Grand Central Station. I've actually been here. I just forget. You know, it's like there's so much stuff going on in the world. It looks pretty dope. Um, I was trying to see if I could find a gargoyle on there. A little zoom in right here. Um, no, nah, I, didn't, I didn't see any gargoyles. I couldn't get up in there, though. But I was like, there's got to be a gargoyle on that. I mean, just look at that. They don't make them like they used to. Um, they just don't. They just don't. They just don't. To go on these trains and to go out in public. And you could see how everything's nice. Every, every, everything that was made was extravagant. It was real craftsmanship to things. Wouldn't that make you want to dress up? You take a train now take a train now there's no character to it there's nothing about it that makes it seem like oh this was cre <laughs> but this is kind of how it feels right like i don't just walk around in society just wearing a red leather jacket okay all right sometimes i like to dress up wear like a blazer or something nice i live in south florida it's a little hot but like when i'm out day to day um everything's kind of uh it really does feel exactly like this picture, minus the, you know, the COVID masks. But that's kind of, <laughs> for the most part, you know, that's why I surround myself with, with like all the stuff you see behind me here. Um, we'll, get, we'll do a little tour later. I'll get around and show you some things. Just kind of like, whatever. Created for a warm, nice, relaxing environment for you. To be fair, they did build this train recently in the South Florida area, like Miami to West Palm, even Orlando, I think. But it's pretty cool. They got like a bar on it. It's pretty nice. It's like kind of luxury. But that's the first train I've ever been on where it's like, whoa, you know, like I'm used to going on like the subway in New York or or like we have the tri-rail here, which is just shit. Um, so not that people ride trains often. I know in certain metropolitan areas, um, they do, but trains aside, okay, this is just kind of like the dulling down of everything. It's all moving backwards. This might seem small, but look at what they did to the Pringles guy. Look at him. Look at him right here. Then look at him here. Huh? It's 
pissing me off. And you might think it's small, but it starts with the Pringles guy, okay? Next thing you know, it's your uncle. But like cartoons, everything in general, just look at kind of the difference here. Just look at the difference. My heart says that the way I feel most myself is to go by the name Fred. That's because I'm non-binary, and Fred is the name that fits me best. And I also use they and them, because calling me a she or a he doesn't feel right to me. Oh, I didn't know that. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I didn't really mean like the... Let's not get canceled here. I didn't mean like the whole cut your penis off thing. I didn't mean that. I meant like, look at this, 1987. Just look at that. It looks like rugged. It has this feel to it. And then look at this. You see what I'm saying? It's just kind of like, it feels like it's going backwards. All right, not just cartoons, in everything. Movies, music, okay, I the whole nine. Even, we talked about this in the last episode, but I didn't bring anything up. But even just sport, sports, the whole, all of it. And I don't like it. I don't know how unpopular this opinion is going to be, but I think that NBA logos have been getting worse. These are all the NBA logos from 20 years ago. And while they're not all great, I think that each one is trying to do their own thing. They look cool, though compared to the newer ones we'll and they there. look a lot more unique Cut forward to today and they're all a lot more streamlined and simplistic and while i have no problem with simple logos i think that these tend to be kind of boring okay paint you a better perspective i'm in florida so the panthers this is the old panthers jersey look at this jersey here right Rare. cat claw but look at this come here look at this okay look at that and then look at this look at that and then look at this. Okay? Then look at this. All right? It's my skateboarding brand, Skatehouse. Thank you to everybody who bought a shirt. Leave the link below. Get the RLP Classics. And then we got some, uh, you know, I'm bringing back my skateboard company. You either like it or you don't. But thank you for everybody who bought them. And I'm shipping them out today. But seriously, though, it's, it's kind of funny. It, it really is. And you're probably thinking, like, Jack, why do you care about sports? I really don't. Even down, we're driving, I was doing like a little photo shoot thing, trying to get <coughs> for the clothes. My friend Dylan Hughes, a photographer, he was like, yo, look at that building. And just look at this liquor store. We're going somewhere here. Look at how kind of just special this looks. It just feels like, yes. All right. And you don't see these a lot. You just don't. You just don't see them. But this is kind of what you see. I mean, I'm not going to like just browse through liquor stores here. But it's just kind of like, it's depressing. You know, like, look at this. No wonder people are alcoholics shopping at a place like that. Anyways, back to Joey B. Tunes. I really like this guy. I've had a lot of comments saying I should work with him, but I simply don't know how to reach out to him. Anyways, back to Joey B. Tunes. I really like this guy. I've had a lot of comments saying I should work with him, but I simply don't know how to reach out to him. It was almost as if, like, there was this collective pride in being a human being, like, like walking amongst their creations. Like, look, look what we've done. Look what we created. Like, it's something to be proud of. Yeah, look at that city bus. I'd ride that. Look at the cars now. They suck. Take Just look at that. It's practical, though. Go look at some of the cars back from the 50s and 60s, even the 70s. I mean, they were just, like, there was character to them. There's no character to these cars now. They just churn them out. Spending time to craft a beautiful car doesn't fit into the business model anymore. I mean, just look at this is a basic Chrysler. Like anybody could afford this back in the day. Just look at how special it looks. And I'm not claiming I know how to build anything because I, I surely do not. Okay. I really don't. But this was like an everyday person could get this vehicle you know they'd have like the blue interior sometimes like the green interior it was like standard but it felt good you know it was like you know i don't know how to build this stuff i really i really wish i did like even this jacket this jacket's old as shit all right try finding a a, a just it exists i don't want to say quality doesn't exist i'm trying to say that i really wish i was special and had that ability to like build these things i'm special in other ways you know but it's just kind of crazy to think about it really is moving 
the opposite direction. That's great. The cars had so much character to them. Then as then when it starts getting to like the 80s and the 90s and it's over. Even the 80s though, dude. That last car we saw was the 80s and this is I'm going to full screen this, but this is like I got this car for 9 grand like 5 years ago, okay? Old caddy. And I bring it up on the show all the time, but it has this feel to it. And I I told my friend Dylan I was like I want to capture a photo of just the car, black and white, and just have that feel. Just, it just feels uh, just special. It really does. I mean, the ocean feels great. Don't get me wrong. But I'm like, I'm going to put that on a fucking t-shirt. Like, if that was a poster, I would I would frame the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, although I can't build these things, I'm at least going to try and, like, be a way to make it feel special. Because... You know, it's, it's something I enjoy. It just, I just look at it. Anyways, I thought that was dope. I just had to share that with you guys. You know, it's funny. When I first walked in, there was an exhibit of cameras, stuff from the 20s all the way up until now. And it's funny, you know, and they actually had stuff from like the early 90s, like a digital camera. And it's just like, it's plastic. It's like, why is this even in here? Why are we even celebrating? You could just see the comparison from everything before then. Like how much character, how, how well made it was. To be fair, okay, this smartphone device, back to movies, music, just everything's on here now. Even your camera, chick, smile. Chick, chick. And... This is like all the stuff you see behind me is like a way I detach. But a lot of people are, are kind of going to right here. Adults are buying dumb phones to get away from social media. Now, I actually have a bunch of dumb phones, just all my old Nokias and stuff. And years ago, I actually tried to go get this on again. And this, the, the, you know, 5G, 4G, all that, like apparently this was like 1G. It doesn't exist anymore. So basically, no matter what phone you get, it's it's kind of tied to the internet no matter what. Um, I tried doing this, but, you know, imagine though, think about this, right? We're so hooked on this, and a lot of people, we stream everything, everything's through this. All right, I'm bringing up Blockbuster Video here. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to take a tour around this house, but this is like a way I disconnect because this is also my job, and, you know, I got to be on the internet a lot, and I use these things just like everybody else. But this right this here, right here, you know, you know, people say they want to get rid of their smartphones, and these are all VHS. But look at how like special that felt. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels, and that's why I keep a lot of this stuff. I got all the old phones. I got this, but just look at this TV. You know what I mean? Like, they just, and it still works. The VHS still works. Like, when's the last time? Cops too hot for TV. But when's the last time you popped in a VHS, right? You know what I mean? And and even like this, forget that, this right here. You know what I mean? When's the last time you popped in a cassette? Or, you know, these TVs still work. Like, I still rock DVDs. Like, this is one of those ones, beep, just pops out. Like, and I, I haven't even done any of the new video games. I like the graphics, but this is kind of how I disconnect. I, I use DVDs. You know, I got some hitters in here, dude. I got old school, got wedding crashers, step brothers. We got some classic. I got some haters over here, paid in full. Fuck my cousin Vinny. Okay, but even even music. Aside from using Spotify, you know, like like records. You know, when you put a record on, you can't just skip the track. You know, you can't just. It just has this feel. I mean, look at this. With it all built in, I mean, look at this cat. They don't make them like that. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah. The streaming services, you know, like, I'll pop on a movie. This is actually a great movie. Movie of the week, you, me, and Dupree. Fucking hilarious. But, like, I still, it's just a way for me to get away from it. I even rock cassettes still, dude. Got Eric Clapton in here, okay? And this all still works. When's the last time you called a friend like this? never and i only bring this up because it's like back when there was blockbuster and record stores and you know you you go in you you hold the the you hold in the thing and i know it's just stuff minimalism i get it it's so easy to just stream everything on here 
and you just swipe, 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 swipe. But there was something about it. Even when you're like going with a friend, it was like exciting. Um, now you just usually do it alone and you just watch a movie by yourself, generally. Or if you have a girlfriend, you're lucky enough to do that. Um, just kind of something to think about. So when people tell me they're going to like go back to this, you know, does your car even have a CD player? You know, do you even own a CD? I'm not saying go buy all these things. I'm just saying this is a way I disconnect from this. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyways, upward and onward. But, oh, dude, just look at this. Feel how nostalgic this is real fast. For anybody who got to experience this, dude, just remember walking up. I used to wake my dad up. This is funny. I'd wake him up. I'd be like 12. It'd be like midnight on a Friday. And he'd be like, Dad. And then my mom would be right there. And he'd be like, what? I'm like, you can take me to Blockbuster? And he'd go, oh, my God. He goes, don't tell your mother. <laughs> I'd be up in there like a little kid. I got my friends over. So spend the night. God, good times. Anyways, let's keep it moving. All the way up into like this little digital camera just made out of plastic. It's like this, this is nothing to put in behind glass. Throw it out. Shouldn't be worth anything. I, I shouldn't even be looking at this right now. But just seeing all that stuff in contrast made me really appreciate the craftsmanship that people had back in the day. There's a pulse and a heartbeat behind it. I guarantee you, if you surround yourself with stuff like that, you'll see what I mean. I want to start surrounding myself with things that are meaningful, that came from an idea that someone was passionate about, someone who made a product that they were proud of. I wish we could get back to that. That's why I feel like we do need some sort of a reset here. There needs to be some kind of a wake-up call. Yeah, it does. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, just look at this on the left. Oh, how special those look. I mean, I guess back then they all looked the same because um, everybody was driving one. Um, but, and then you look at this side and they all look the same because everybody's driving the same thing. But uh, it is kind of funny to think about. And I've been do living this way for a long time. You know, like since I'm 20, I've been really into just this more old school antique kind of vibe. Uh, I'm 35 now. So <clears throat> when I saw this video, I was like, my man, and he's not tripping. Like it does, like life feels a little more special when, when not like having the things, it's not about the things, it's the feeling. Anyways, the soul is being removed from everything. We can do so much better than this. We have so much to offer. Look at everybody's at the concert. They're all just filming it instead of being there. It's hilarious. Offer as people. We're so creative. We have so much potential. Wow, look at the difference in that. If you're not watching and you're just listening, it's like concert from nowadays, they're all filming, and concert from back then, everybody's just rocking and rolling, just rock and or roll, dude. Potential. It's crazy. We shouldn't be craving the things from the past to come back today. It should already be here. Wow, Joey B. Tunes, man. I really like that guy. Um, before I read some of this guy, these comments from this video here, he was like, uh, I went on a boat recently. Speaking of this, the camera, everything's on here. You know, I do this for a living, and I appreciate everybody that's, that's here. It supports me um, and just kind of gets it. You know, we, we kind of see the same, the same shit. Um, I was on a boat recently, right? And... This chick that's on the boat was like, you're not going to go in. I was like, first of all, it's freezing outside. Windy as shit. I'm like, it's the end of the day. Sun's going down. I was like, I was like I'm good. And she's like, no. She's like, I've never even seen a picture of you on a boat. And, you know, they've all been taking selfies and all this. And I haven't taken one. And I was like, you know, just because I haven't taken a picture here doesn't mean I was, I'm not here. You know, like, I like to live in the moment a lot. I miss, a, I don't capture a lot of stuff. Um, you know, when I'm doing this, it's on purpose. You know, if I'm getting a skateboarding trick or I'm filming this, it's on purpose. I have to purposely do it. But when I'm out and about, I'm not just constantly like, I'm not a selfie guy. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm in the moment. If there's a photo taken, awesome, great. Let me get a copy of that. But that's just kind of how I've always lived my life. Uh, like I went to New York with my, my boy Taco. Dude, we were there for three days. We just went on a quick little trip. 
We didn't take one photo. And we laughed about it on the way home. Luckily, we got one video because we went out skating. Um, but that was like kind of by accident. You know, it wasn't like a, a planned a planned thing, but I just thought that was funny. Like we, me and Taco, we drove across country like three different times, four, four, five, six different times, up and down across. I was thinking about, I was like, dude, we didn't take any photos or videos of any of that. Um, so yeah, I like to just live in the in the moment. You know, I'm like rocking a CD in the car. You know, I got a friend with me. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah, dude, just chill, enjoy the ride. Anyways, here's some comments from uh, Joey B. Toon's video. Because my great grandma would say, just because you are poor doesn't mean you should look poor. Okay. This person goes, we used to be a society. Now we have social media instead. We've created a virtual society and it sucks. Yeah, I'm, you know, I, I've managed to make a living off of it, but I'm not the best at like getting all these photos. I have to like literally have to go purposely go get some photos. You know what I mean? Or just luckily get one. And then I never even really post them. I have them framed in the house, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, I guess it's kind of how I live. I, mean, I think a lot of people live that way, to be honest with you. There was pride and there was shame and there was a moral standard. That's nice. All right, let's see what this one says. One of the biggest things that was so underrated then was having everything closed on Sundays and just hanging out with friends and family unreal you guys leave your thoughts hell of a talk um check out the second channel or don't appreciate everybody that bought a shirt i uh, got several different ones on the website i'll leave the link below um but yeah that's just kind of that's just kind of it that's it I, this whole thing wasn't about like uh, accumulating stuff i think it's um it's just more the quality of things you know things uh just things kind of feel less special I don't know. We're going to have to do a part three, four, five, six, and seven to cover everything on this because it goes way deeper than just stuff. But, uh, God, solid talk. Good shit.